We all know that Tinkercad Circuit is a free browser-based program that lets us build and simulate circuits, and it's the perfect platform for learning and prototyping. In the previous videos related to Tinkercad, I have gone through basics of using Tinkercad and creating and simulating basic electronic circuits. In this video, we will create and simulate basic to intermediate level electronic circuit employing Arduino through exploration of code blocks. If you are new to Tinkercad, then this feature must excite you a great deal. This is object-oriented programming, meaning that you place a predefined object on the work plane and then modify it accordingly. In this tutorial, let's learn how to read a photoresistor, a light-sensitive type of variable resistor, using Arduino's analog input. It's also known as light-dependent resistor. So let's get started. Now take a look at the breadboard circuit as shown in the graphics. In this step, you will build your own version of this circuit alongside the sample in the work plane. Load up a new Tinkercad circuit window and build your own version of this circuit alongside the sample. Identify the photoresistor, LED, resistors, and wires connected to the Arduino in the Tinkercad circuit's work plane. Drag an Arduino and breadboard from the components panel to the work plane next to the existing circuit. Connect the breadboard power, positive, and ground, which is the negative, rails to Arduino 5 volt and ground, respectively, by clicking to create wires. If you wish, extend power and ground rails to their respective buses on the opposite edge of the breadboard which is always a good practice. Plug the LED in two different breadboard rows so that the cathode, which is the negative leg, ne which is the negative terminal, shorter leg, connects to one leg of a resistor anywhere from 100 to 1 kilo ohms is fine. The resistor can go in either orientation because resistors are not polarized, unlike LEDs, which must be connected in a certain way to function and wire up the LED anode, which is the positive terminal, the longer leg, to Arduino pin number 9. Connect other leg to ground. Click to create a wire, connecting one photoresistor leg to power. Connect the other leg to Arduino analog pin A0. Drag a resistor from the components panel to connect the photoresistor leg connected to A0 with ground and adjust its value to 4.7 kilo ohm. Let's use the code blocks editor to listen to the state of the photoresistor. Then set an LED to a relative brightness based on how much light the sensor sees. Click the code button to open the code editor. The gray notation blocks are comments for making note of what you intend for your code to do. Click on the variables category in the code editor. To store the resistance value of the photoresistor, Create a variable named sensor value. Drag out a set block. Well, we will store the state of our photoresistor in the variable sensor value. Click on the input category and drag out an analog read pin block and place it into the set block after the word 2. Since our potentiometer is connected to the Arduino on pin A0, change the drop down to A0. Click the output category and drag out a print to serial monitor block. Navigate to the variables category and drag your variable sensor value onto the print to serial monitor block. And make sure the drop down is set to print with a new line. Optionally, start the simulation and open the serial monitor to verify readings are coming in and changing when you adjust the sensor. Analog input values range from 0 to 1023. Since we want to write to the LED with a number between 0 which is off and 255 which is full brightness, we will use the math block to do some cross multiplication for us. Navigate to the math category and drag out a math block. In the first slot, drag in a sensor value, variable block then set the range from 0 to 255. Back in the output category, drag out an analog set pin block, which by default says set pin to 3 to 0. Adjust that pin and set it to 9. Drag the map block you made earlier into the set pin blocks to feel to write the adjusted number to the LED pin 
using pulse width modulation. Click the control category and drag out a weight block and adjust it to the delay program for 0.1 seconds. You should now be able to simulate your circuit design. Also, open the serial monitor to observe your sensor values. It's likely that real-world values will not extend all the way to zero or all the way to 1023 depending on your lighting conditions. Feel free to adjust the 0 to 1023 range to your observe minimum and observe maximum in order to get the maximum brightness expression range on the LEDs. The good thing about the code block is when the code editor is open, you can click the drop down menu on the left and select blocks plus text to reveal the Arduino code generated by the code blocks. Now that you have learned to read a photoresistor and map its output to the control the brightness of an LED, you can now apply these and other skills that you have learned from the previous videos, maybe swapping out the LED for another type of output like a servo motor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.